Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies, my name is John and in this video I'm going to talk about the amazing release from imprints of the complete series of Man with a Suitcase. So this series had a short run from 1967 to 1968 and the reason why I picked this up is because it was one of my mum's favourite shows of all time and it used to be on in the house all the time even though I didn't really watch it when I was a young kid but I do remember it being on the TV quite a lot and in those days we didn't have a video recorder so I'm not too sure if my mum ever got to get this on physical media. I can't remember her picking it up, but I know it was one of her favourite shows. And when I saw this coming out, I thought I would really like to see this for what it was and relive this sort of time that my mum had spent with it. And it would be a kind of like a, a bit of a nostalgia trip for me. So it stars Richard Branford as McGill. Everybody says, what's your first name? He says, just McGill. It's quite a cool customer. So after he's left the intelligence service, he became a bounty hunter. And he does jobs for cash. And he's quite, I've got to say, the action in here. There's a load of action in here. I can't remember ever seeing the action parts of it. But it's quite stunning how the fight scenes go. They're really kind of graphic, actually. And I think it did say that this showed a lot more blood than most of these series back in the day. Like Danger Man, etc. So this is a limited edition. It's got eight discs in. And it's got all 30 episodes of the ITC action classic. And also it's got a... A one that's made into a, a film a version of one of the or two of the episodes should i say and actually back in the day one of the best things about series like this was the theme tune and this doesn't let you down the theme tune to this is iconic now if you've seen tgi friday with chris evans the radio one dj used to have a show on friday nights there's no shows like that anymore is there now the music that he came onto there and i'll leave a link down to a video down below where you can see the actual where you can hear the actual theme tune for this you will he, you will know it in an instant it is you know you put it on it's one of the best things about it you want to you want to hear this theme tune on like start to finish so it's got everything going for it this this uh this particular series and this has been presented in one of those amazing hard boxes that imprint are quite famous for and it looks absolutely brilliant on the shelf so when i put it on i thought i'll check this out quickly and i'll see what i think of the episodes and i might get the devs to watch it and see what she thinks of it i think she would like this actually so what i did was i put it on and i started watching it and i couldn't i couldn't turn them off i just had to keep watching them and watching them they're so moorish i put them on there's what there's so many guest stars i couldn't believe the people who are coming on here and one person can you believe it is ian mcculloch from zombie flesh eaters fame he's actually in it and i checked i checked it out and he's around about 29 on it he looks really young but the, the episodes on here have, are just ooze 60s. The essence of the 60s cool. This guy, McGill, is, is untouchable. He's, he always, he's always smoking a cigarette. He's always drinking. He's always a bit of a... He's always got the, the hard edge to him. I watched four episodes so far, and I can't wait to watch the, episodes, the other episodes. Every time I put one on, I always want to watch the next one. They aren't so much lineal, the kind of individual stories, but they do come back to the fact of this intelligence thing where I think he helped someone to defect, some Russian to defect, and it all went wrong and he got framed for something or something or other. Imprint always do good jobs with their restorations, and I thought, I'm betting this is going to look good. But I could not believe, and I'll show you some screenshots coming up, I couldn't believe how good this looked. In fact, I would go so far to say that this is probably the best ever looking TV series on Blu-ray I have ever seen. Now, the other one, or the other one that comes close is the Batman. If you've got the Batman 1966 box set, you will know how good that looks. It looks incredible. This is right up there. Now, this is filmed on 35mm, because I looked on Internet Movie Database, and because I, I thought this is so clear and so sharp. How on earth have they got this good? Well, there's a 35mm negative to be had, so they went back to that, obviously. And... Actually, speaking of the depths, she come in when I was watching one of the episodes and she goes, oh, is that Mama's suitcase? I goes, yeah, I'm just watching that. And she goes, wow, look at that picture. I said, yeah. Honestly, when I was looking at it, it would if someone said to me, I'm watching this on 4K, I would have said, yeah, that looks, you know, that's a brilliant 4K because it's that good. It's it really, really is a surprise to us. I did think it would look great. Don't get us wrong. I always think that anything I get from imprint always looks great. And if you, if you are wondering about some of the restorations that they do or something they want to get from them, you can always rest assured that you will always get a good picture quality. And that's one of the best things about getting stuff from imprint. But this box set just keeps on giving. And like I say, the stories are really, really entertaining. The music is great. The characters are great. The guest stars, Felicity Kendall, popping up. And it's just uh, Rodney Bewes. 
from the Lightly Lads and Bill Owen from Last of the Summer Wine. They're just always popping up. I can't believe it. And always look quite young as well. This is ticking all the boxes for me. I'm so glad I got it. And like like I say, originally I got it because I wanted to like relive this because it was a bit of a nostalgia trip for me, knowing full well that my mother thought this was one of the best things ever on the TV. And I'm so glad I picked it up for that reason. And also I'm so glad I picked it up because I'm having such a blast with this. These type of things were on the TV all the time. And if you switch the TV on the 60s and the 70s, well, probably the 70s because nobody had t TVs in the 60s, you would see this stuff just played all the time. Probably saw this in black and white because I don't think we had a colour TV at the time. Remember those days? But I can't recommend this highly enough. If you're a fan of this of this uh, this set, it's available on Amazon if you want to get it. And it's actually taken a bit of a price drop at the minute. I can't recommend this highly enough. It ticks all the boxes. It's got an amazing presentation. The booklet is fantastic. I mean, all the text in there. I'm dying to get into that because I want to find out more about this. It's got a lot of extras on as well. You do get commentaries and introductions from Richard Bradford and other stars. And it's just a fascinating watch. And I can't wait to finish this off. And I would watch this again with her devs because I think she was probably, when she was watching it, she was a bit intrigued as how it was like going because she loves stuff like this. So thanks for watching. You take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.